this is gorgeous wow <laughs> this is so pretty and you can see the inside is also neat <music> everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm latifa and thank you for joining me today you are probably here after watching the pattern drafting of this corset to see the sewing tutorial if not make sure you watch that video because i'll be using the pattern from that video to make this corset but before we get started if you haven't subscribed to this channel please make sure you do so the subscribe button is right down below and it's totally free and for those who already subscribed thank you so much i really appreciate you guys Thank you for your support. Without wasting much of our time, let's get started. So I placed my pattern on my fabric and cut them out. And also I added my allowances to them. So half of an inch at the top here and also at the cup area and half of an inch at the dart area. And I did the same thing for this side, half of an inch, half of an inch and half of an inch at the top too. For my cup, you add half of an inch round here, here and here. And also for the upper part too. This is the back pattern. I also added half of an inch at the top and half of an inch at the center back. So this is the part where the zipper is supposed to be. But when I was drafting the pattern, I told you guys that we are not using zipper for this. So this is just to hem the center back. Also, I cut my wording using my pattern for the cup, but I did not add allowance to the wording. Okay. I cut it exactly the way my pattern is reason for that is because I am not joining my lining together like this. I'll be using a zigzag stitch to sew it together this way. So I don't need allowance. Just cut it exactly the way your pattern is. So my fabric is on fold before cutting it out. Okay. Because I need two pieces for this. And I also have two pieces of my lining. And also this part. But this part will be one piece. Okay. You fold it like this. If you open it up, you see what I'm talking about this way. And also for my cup, I have two of this and two of the lining, two of this and two of the lining and two of this and two of the lining. And also my back pattern is also two of the fabric and two of the lining. I hope you guys understand that. So now that we have cut out our fabric, we are ready to sew. One thing that I will tell you is before you take out this pattern, especially this cup area, you want to make sure you pin them together because you can easily mix them up and if you do so your cup is gonna look funny so this is number two and number three and i know i'll be sewing that together i'll go ahead and place it this way right side facing each other that way so it was like this okay and i'll place right side facing each other this way and pin it I'll do the same thing for this right side facing each other and pin it now for the center and side piece you open your center up like this you pick one of this one and flip it open to the other side like this so this is where our cup will be attached to we'll be joining this together right side facing each other with half of an inch and we'll do the same thing for the other side right here with half of an inch i'll go ahead and start attaching the cup together so after stitching the down part of the cup together we are ready to attach the upper parts to it what i want you to take note is that if you look at this down part you realize that this part is smaller than this part so the smaller part will be attached to the part that is kind of wider at the upper part right here okay so it will go this way round and also i notch the top of my cup right here and that is to indicate that i'll be attaching this part to the bottom because you can easily mix it up and think you can attach it this way okay so if you notch it you know where you are supposed to attach the bottom part to so i'll attach it right side facing order this way all the way around so i'm done sewing the cup and as you can see it looks beautiful we have space in here for the boob to sit in 
and this is gorgeous so i'll go ahead and do the same thing that i did for the cups to my lining we'll go ahead and join our front piece together right side facing each other like this and you sew it half of an inch you do the same thing for the other side go ahead and give this a good press and I'll also iron my cups and come back and continue doing the sewing I'll go ahead and sew my wording together using a zigzag stitch so this one I'll make the weave 4.5 So I'm done ironing my cup and my bodies and this is also ready. So what I'll do is to join the cup piece to the bodies first by matching this to this like this and you start sewing this way all the way to this point like this and you see that it's matching right here. So if you join everything correctly with your allowance, everything should match like that okay I'm done attaching the cup to the body so I'll go ahead and put in the wording okay so this way let's flip it over so you put it inside and let it sit like this okay like this you see that and you do the same thing for this other one too you put it inside make sure you trim all this thread off so you put it inside this way and let it sit like this you go ahead and iron it um, from the fabric part right here the wooden have glue so once you iron it it will stick to the fabric so this is the final look of the cup after ironing the wood into it this is really pretty the cup is really standing well so you don't even have to buy um a bra cup before you can make a corset now you can use your wording so now i'll go ahead and fix my boning to my corset but i can't do it directly like this i need a boning casing so i just use the fabric to make a bias this way and i'll be sewing this to the part of the corset where I want my boning to be. I'm using this regulin boning and the boning is like half of an inch. I just added a quarter of an inch to it so that it's not too tight when I insert it. So I'll add one here and I also want to add another one here. But if you notice, I already attached my cup to this part. That was a mistake. I was supposed to do this before attaching the cup, but that is fine. We can easily fix that by opening the cup a little bit so you just lose this part underneath it and push this in that way and there you have it so you just come here this way and close your cup up the way you were sewing it earlier After sewing my boning casing to my fabric, then I'll go ahead and do everything that I've done to my fabric to my lining, which is what I have right here, except for the boning. You don't need to add boning to your lining. I attach my boning casing to the back pattern. So this is the center back where we usually fix our zipper, but we are not fixing zipper to this. So from that part, you're going by half of an inch and place your boning casing. And this is the side. Now I'll go ahead and attach my front and back bodies together so that will be this way so this is the side and this is the center back okay 
then you sew with your one and a half inches sewing allowance that I added to the side. So after joining the side together, this is what you have. So this is the back and this is the front so we are almost done now the next thing i'll do now is to attach my loop to the back of my corset like this okay so to create the loop i cut a fabric that is two inches um wide and very long then i folded it this way okay and top stitch right here and after doing that you cut them into two inches so everything here is two two inches then now you refold this loop this way and place it so this is the back like this okay you place it this way and you top stitch on top but before i place it i need to come down by half of an inch because i'll still be hemming the upper part right here with my lining so come down by half of an inch and you start placing your loop this way so i'm done fixing the loop i came down by half of an inch and fixed the first one then i measured one and a half inches from the first one and attached the second one and i did the same thing one and a half inches attached the next one one and a half inches attached the next one and i did the same thing for the other side right here so now i'll go ahead and iron my corset i'll open all the allowances here and iron them i ironed my corset and i also ironed my lining the next thing i'll do now is to sew my lining to my corset at the upper part right here first so right side facing each other like this and you make sure you match your side seam together like that then you sew with half of an inch all the way around the neckline to the back So after sewing my lining at the neckline all the way to the back, then I'll go ahead and open this up this way and top stitch all the way round. So you open it up like this and you top stitch. So after top stitching my lining round the neckline, the next thing I'll do now is to insert my Redilene boning through the boning casing that we created earlier. What you have to do is measure whatever you have from the tip right here to the bottom and reduce it by half of an inch because you still be aiming the down part right here and you don't want your boning extending into that allowance. And also, I added a clear tape to the tip of my boning and this is to prevent it from piercing through my fabric. So I'll go ahead and insert my boning into the boning channel like this you just push it up this way and pull the fabric down then I'll go ahead and do the same thing for the rest of the boning channel and also for the back right here where we had a boning channel too Then I'll go ahead and flip the lining back this way. See what I'm doing? Then I'll go ahead and sew this part right here down with half of an inch. And also do the same thing half of an inch all the way down here. And also at the other side right here. After sewing everything round, this is what you will have. The next thing now is to open this part, okay? The side seam for the lining, open it up so that you can push your fabric out. So this is enough. I'll go ahead and push my fabric out from that part.
so this is what we have after flipping it out i'll go ahead and close this part right here you just stitch it a little bit this way so this is what i have after closing it up and this is what the inner part looks it's very neat and this is the front so i'll go ahead now and give this a good press okay so this is what we have after ironing wow this is gorgeous wow <laughs> this is so pretty and you can see the inside is also neat so i'll go ahead and put this rope in my loop right here now put the other hand through the second side like this Now continue to put it through this way. Okay. And you put this other one this way. So it's like a zigzag. And now we are done with our corset. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope the tutorial was helpful. If so, make sure you give me a thumbs up, like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.